Hey there, it is Friday afternoon, it's uh, end of March, and it's lovely out in Austin, Texas. I think I'm going to go for a hike and then go get some Thai fresh with some friends. But before I do so, it is the end of the week, and there's something that I like to do at the end of every week, which is my weekly review. And people might be familiar with that term if they've ever read the popular productivity book, Getting Things Done by David Allen. And I read that book About three and a half, four years ago, really changed my life, really allowed me to focus my attention in a way that I never could have done before. And one of the first tools I used for this after Google Docs and Wonderlist, and I think I tried to do this for a little while, but the one tool that that really stuck with me on uh, using GTD was called Trello. I, I briefly was using OmniFocus for a little while because I helped create a course around that then did some Jira. So I I bounced around a lot, but it's always been in the background for me. And uh, as of late, there's more and more little pieces to the puzzle that are making this tool even more powerful from a uh, a perspective of using this as a to-do list, Matt, even more powerful for using this as a to-do list manager than have been previously. So uh, I'll just show you what I'm doing. Um, you can see here there's a few more lists than the traditional David Allen uh, GTD has, and I'll, I'll, I'll go and explain them all. So the first one on the, on the left-hand side is notes and ideas. He would call this in process. I saw notes and ideas one time, and I like that idea. It's, it's not a fully formed action yet. It's just an idea, and it could turn into a project or a to-do. Another list I have are some current ongoing projects. I've got things that I'm working on on an ongoing basis. So I just want to keep track of where I'm doing. Toastmasters is a organization that I'm using to get better at public speaking. So hey, thought I would uh, I would keep track of it here in Trello as an ongoing project. Then I also plan my quarters. So this is something that GTD, uh, Getting Things Done, doesn't really get into. They, they talk about it in some regard. I find as a business owner that working in 90-day sprints or a 12-week year as a popular book by Brian Moran talks about is effective for getting some big projects out the door. So you can see some of the projects. It's the beginning of the new quarter for me, and so I'm, I'm right now. I'm at the point where I'm incubating ideas for my live project, live podcast uh, that I'm going to be doing in Austin for Able Business Radio. Uh, I also have some talks coming up, so that's my quarterly focus. And then every week on my weekly review, I try to plan out the two or three big rocks that I am going to try to accomplish. So one of them, um, I. Uh, didn't do as good a job as I'd hoped for. I got a little busy this week, but I did. Uh, I did get some some things done. Um, all right, that that actually got done. Um, gosh, I can't get into Stitcher. I'm, I'm gonna have to get into that one. Um, so I'm actually going doing part of my weekly review right now, which is reviewing all of these uh, all of these projects and tasks to see what I I did get done. Um, and um, and see what didn't get done. So I've got somebody working on my website, so I'm going to hold that there. So I'll probably move it to my waiting on. Then I've got the to-dos. These are just little one-off to-dos that um, that need to need to get done. Some of them might need to be fleshed out to projects, and then can be put on the on this week. Um, so I got those. Then I've got the waiting on. So these are all the people or or things that I have outstanding. Uh, for example, I put a, a post for an executive assistant on hire my mom for a client of mine, and I'm just waiting for those to, to roll in. Um, then I've got my uh, good someday ideas, or someday maybe, as David Allen would call them. So I, for each of one of those, I'll I'll. I have ideas that, okay, hey, this is how I could help my career out, or this is how fam- family and friends, or health, or money. So I've got all these different various areas, and I the reason I did that is I made these cards, and then I put a bunch of sub uh, list in these cards, just so it wasn't so overwhelming. For a while, this someday maybe list was just would go down and down forever, and I really couldn't review it or organize it in a good way. So that's one way to condense some of the information. And and then this last list right here is just some checklists that I have that I, I want to have on a regular basis. Um, one of my longer ones are books to read. Yeah, it always adds up faster than I can get through them. So 
this is what my board looks like. It's got these various lists. You could have more or less. This is just over the years what I have found effective for me. Um, and right now I'm doing my weekly review. So a big benefit of the weekly uh, of using Trello is you can have repeating cards. This is a newer feature. It's a power up feature. If you want to use any of the power up features, you go to the show menu and then you go to power up and you can see a bunch of power ups that are there. So that is one of them where you can have a card repeat on a daily, monthly, weekly, bi-monthly. You can set it up very specifically for when that will repeat. And uh, for me, I have this car card repeat uh, at 3 o'clock on Friday. So it's 6 o'clock right now. Um, the first thing that I do on my weekly review is I zero my inbox. I usually use email game on a Friday, so it forces me to work a little bit faster because I use Gmail, so I can zero it pretty easily there. Then I go to uh, Trello Notes and Ideas, and I take anything that's still left there. So this is going to be a to-do, and I'm going to move this to another board that I have that I specifically manage my... Um, my podcast on. So it's zeroed out. Essentially, I keep this on the left-hand corner just to remind me of, you know, my overall mission for, for what I'm doing here at, at uh, Buckets Productivity, which is my, my coaching and consulting service. So from there, I will continue on my weekly review. So zero that Zero Evernote inbox. So here's uh, here's Evernote. I often email articles or ideas or receipts that I'm expensing, and it goes into my uh, in process. So then I from there. So I printed that off. So I can uh, I can move that one, and this one probably should go into here, and then. Oh, this is kind of an interesting idea. Um, so it's it's on personality types, and this is a, a series that I'm doing for personality types. So I'm going to actually move that to my journal and, and kind of go from there. So that's it. Then I put all business receipts in a scan folder, and then at the end of the month, I scan all of those in using my Scannable app, which is a little process that I created. Zero my paper inbox. So I have an in-tray on the left side of my stand-up sit-down desk, and I, I zero that out and scan anything that needs to be scanned, file anything, throw things out, just do what I need to be doing with that. Then uh, comes to cleaning up all of the Trello tasks and projects. So that's what I was kind of getting into. I couldn't help myself with the when it comes to some of these projects. So um, I'm looking here. Um, this one, I think my next action for this just was working with this client this morning. So, um, I need to email Sue that. And it's probably more T's than needed, uh, about next actions with password manager and, uh, invoice. So that just makes it so I, I know exactly what I need to be doing and, and, and can easily follow along doing that. So uh, so you clean up everything. Um, and, and it's, you know, sometimes this is a time where I'm like, ah, you know, I'm, I'm, I really don't want to do this. Um, so last week, I, I three weeks out, I had a talk, and it, it didn't really align with what I wanted to be doing. So I, I called the organizer and said, hey, this isn't something that I'm going to be doing anymore. And I deleted it. So deleting things is awesome because it just it make, gives you more energy. It gives you more time, gives you more attention in the areas that matter most. So I was trying to delete something. Then I review my calendar. So you can I can look right up here using BusyCal. Um, I, what I actually prefer to do, um, I'm a big Google Calendar fan. So I'll just go ahead and um, and look at the next week to see see how kind of how busy it is and, and and what I have going on. So it looks like a pretty busy week for me. So that means I'm not going to be able to get a lot, as much proactive work as I'd want to. Um, seeing this uh, this calendar invite actually makes me think about oh I need to um, for the week record videos for VAs. 
So Mads is, is a buddy of mine in the Philippines. He manages some um, virtual assistants there, and I'm going to have them help me out. So um, the one I want to do is on new, uh, so upload podcast to Lipson. And then I want to have one on sharing on Twitter, making cover images. So that's that's essentially what I do. And these are my next actions. So these are things that need to be done for me to record the the videos for the virtual assistants. Those are the videos that I need to record. I know how to do that. Um, so that a better way of saying it would be record record videos. All right. And then from there, let's keep on going with my, my checklist. So I reviewed the calendar, decided on the big rocks. So I know that actually those videos are going to be one of the big rocks. Um, post those visually. So this is a tip that I got from a friend of mine who works for a company called Think Productive. So he's a time management ninja. He's just on the on the podcast, and um, he, he said that it really helps him out to post visually what he's trying to accomplish. So he takes a sticky note, puts it right in front of his, uh, his desk, so he knows the two or three big things he's going to do. Just started experiment when he, experimenting with that, and it actually has helped me with my focus. So keeping things top of mind. Review journal entries. I journal in, um, in, uh, in Evernote, so I go and look through those. Um, update 12-week year tracker, so that's my quarterly planning. I have uh, things that I do every single week um, that make sure that I am on point for my goals. And write, write my weekly review and then write a weekly learning. So those are my steps for my weekly review. It takes me about two hours. It, it's not a short amount of time, um, but when I do it, I feel like I'm on top of everything in my world and it's extremely helpful. When this is done, I can simply archive this card, and I know it's going to come back the next week because it comes back every week. A new feature that I just found out that I'm a very big fan of is um, is this news feature. So some of my to-dos, um, I really probably should just do this, but I'm uh, I'm snoozing it till next week. And what what happens here is it, it archives the card and then it'll come back up when I decide that it needs to come back up. Um, so I'm going to leave these ones on here because they're they're ones. Actually, yeah, I'll put this one in, in as a, an important thing for this week. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's that's basically what my weekly review looks like in Trello. I think Trello is a great task manager. Uh, because of the capability, uh, one thing that you'll notice is there's some colors. I didn't think I would traditionally like colors since I'm a, a colorblind guy. Um, but if you are, if you do have trouble with colors, you can enable colorblind friendly mode, and then you can tag things based off of uh, of of. Essentially, I get I give red a high priority if it is green. I will, um, it's about this quarter. If it's blue, it's a speaking engagement. Um, then if I'm working on, let's say I'm writing a talk or something something of that nature, I can, um, I can go and I can filter, uh, filter the cards based off of, uh, let's say I want to work on the podcast. Okay, so invite people to this and, and um, work on some outreach or maybe edit a, uh, a podcast. So I can, I can get very specific and very clear on what, um, what I'm doing. So that is how I use Trello for my getting things done system. Highly encourage you to try it out if you've been been bopping around on a, a number of different to-do list managers. This might be something that if you're if you're more visually, um, a, a, some, you like things visually appealing, you like to see everything all at once, um, it's, it could be a great tool for you.